What is up you guys? This is the LEGO Boss coming at you guys with another LEGO review. Today we are looking at LEGO Marvel Studios The Infinity Saga Black Panther Dragon Flyer. This is set number 76186. It was recommended for ages 8 and up and it has 202 pieces. Retails for $19.99 US dollars and comes with 3 minifigures. Because I'm starting to like these Infinity Saga sets since my last review with the Endgame Final Battle, I decided to buy the set off of Amazon so I can do another quick review just for you guys. So without any further ado, let's open this up and see what we get. What follows is a brief construction montage. We hope you enjoyed this brief construction montage. All right, we got the set all built up. Let's check out the minifigures. So our first minifigure is the King of Wakanda himself, Black Panther. Now this is the same version of Black Panther that appeared in the last Infinity Saga set we reviewed, the Endgame Final Battle. As you can see, he's got the same purple coloring all over his suit to represent him using his kinetic shockwave abilities. He's also got a nice necklace that goes all the way to the back torso printing which has some more uh, purple coloring, as well as the back of his head and the front of his head, which is basically his helmet with some nice detailing. And he's still got his standard Black Panther uh, head. Our next minifigure is Black Panther's sister, Shuri. Not only is her design based on her appearance from uh, Black Panther, but also from Avengers Endgame during the final battle. She's got some nice torso printing of her suit that continues all the way to the back which has some nice decent printing. And she's got this stylized hair piece in black that has been used on occasional figures. And she's got two faces, a happy expression and an angry expression. And she's got some nice uh, white dotted tattoos all over her face. And her accessories include these glove pieces that she uses to uh, fight against uh, the Jatari's with in Endgame, which uses these gunmetal uh, glove pieces with these one by one circular stud pieces in transparent blue. Our last minifigure is a Chitauri soldier. Now, just like the Black Panther minifigure, it's the same version that appeared in the Endgame Final Battle set from the Infinity Saga, which has some nice torso printing of his suit. And he's got one facial expression, which is just his angry face. And if you go to the back, you get some back torso and head printing. And his accessory is this nice build of his blaster, which uses a lot of uh, transparent blue and uh, gold pieces. So here's the main build of the set, which is the Dragon Flyer itself. And despite being a downsized, I really like how they captured the cool detailing all over. So starting from the cockpit area, you got a nice window dash and uh, transparent gray that has some nice detailing and printing. And up front, you got two modified tile pieces as well as a couple of slope pieces all around to make it round. And if you remove the cockpit area or the windshield, you get enough room in the inside to fit one minifigure, which has two stickers of a control panel. You can fit straight inside. And you can fit inside with no budges. On both sides, you got two stud shooters, which can be launched. Thankfully, the set does come with extras. If you move along to the top, all the way to the back, you've got these triangular pieces, which you can move up and down or side to side since they are connected to a ball joint. Same thing with the others. And on the tips of the wings, you've got these triangular pieces, which can move up and down or side to side. And you can do the same with the bottom with these blade pieces to represent the fins. Now, continue on to the back, you got two stickers of exhausts, this nice big sticker of some patterns, and you got a lot of one by one slope pieces 
in transparent blue to represent the exhausts or the uh, rockets. And if you go to the back, you've got some nice flag pieces as the fins, I guess. Oh, and by the way, here's how the one by ones are attached. They're basically attached to this plate piece that's on a hinge, which you can move up and down. And this clip helps keep locking in place. That way, when you're flying it, it doesn't fall off or shake. Now let's move on to the main play feature. What's cool about this is just like in the Black Panther films, you can move the cockpit area up like this. Hold on, let me get the camera angle up. And you can make the Dragonflyer look like it's in attack mode with all the wings standing down and the cockpit facing up. And what's cool is that if you look inside, you've got these hinge pieces or what is what is helping it stand up and this clip piece on top if you connect it to the bar piece once you're done using the attack mode it stays in place and the cockpit doesn't fall off and that's my favorite part about this so overall what do i think of this set in general well i really love this set especially with the cool designs of the dragonfly itself with all the cool piece usage I really like the cool fe feature where you get to make it look like it's an attack mode. But I really do wish that this set came with at least a playset build. Maybe for the Chitauri or maybe some background rubble for the uh, destroyed compound. But overall, this is a really nice set. And for those of you who love Marvel or just want a cheap way to get Black Panther, this is a kind of set just for you. So what are you guys' thoughts on this set? Please leave a comment down below. Also, be sure to like and subscribe to The Lego Boss, and I will see you all in another Lego review. Bye-bye.